Well, hello there, beautiful people of the internet. Thank you so much for uh, clicking on one of my videos. It's, you know, I started this. I actually found checks uh, in some of my stuff in storage all the way back from, I think they were dated 2013 from Machinima. Uh, that's how long I've been doing this. So anybody that's still clicking on anything from me, wow, thank you, bravo. Uh, today we've got some Modern Warfare 3 gameplay coming at your faces some free for all i'm using the i don't remember the name of this gun pretty op they nerfed it it's still op um but i think that new smg in the battle pass is actually like a little bit better i'm real close to unlocking it but um anyways gameplay is not important the topic of the video is how bad black ops 6 is gonna be um, I'm almost always at least neutral, if not leaning positive toward the, the onset of the new Call of Duty. And this year, things are different this year. If you guys have not seen, first of all, a lot of this discussion is going to be prefaced on the leaks around Black Ops 6. Apparently, Activision was silly enough to think it was a good idea to have a build of the game on a server that could be hacked into and gain access was gained from some sort of a jailbroken playstation 4 as far as i understand at first i was like ah, i'm gonna take all this with a grain of salt it's probably a super early build whatever the beta might be completely different there's no need to even judge anything and then the more we started finding out is that this is like the exact same or very close to the same build that we are going to be getting for the beta that's only a few weeks away now i believe um and then I started getting worried because at first the gameplay was just kind of like from some guy that like seemingly could barely play Call of Duty. There was like a big disclaimer at the top of the, all the leaked footage that was like, oh, I'm lagging from the Elgato setup and my input is really uh, delayed and that's why the gameplay is bad. So it's like he was already like compensating for his lack of skill in the leaks, which I thought was hilarious. But um then people started getting a hold of it they can actually like move like the movement bros uh that we've come to learn you know i first started seeing modern warfare 3 movement bros months ago where you see people just doing like disgusting yy sliding just constantly shaking their screen whatever i don't know like slide canceling all this lame stuff that's been added to call of duty i miss when call of duty had a fairly slow fun pace where you could like you know not sweat and, and and actually take it easy and and have a interaction with a, a member of another team before they maybe sprayed you down anything all that's gone whatever um so these movement bros uh black ops 6 clips are a little worrying you've got people like doing this weird with the omnidirectional movement they're like sprinting and then right before they jump they like turn around and jump backwards almost and then they go into a slide as they hit the ground and there's there's clips of people like inside of these rooms and they're like they'll like enter a kitchen and from the moment they enter the kitchen to where they're sliding out of the other side is literally like half a second and i'm going oh my god this game is going to be so terrible I'm going to absolutely despise it with my old man skills, with my old man mindset. I don't want to play this lightning fast, super sweat fest Call of Duty anymore. I just want to like chill, have a beer with the boys, and enjoy a casual game of Call of Duty. And it is going so like CDL, weird, TikTok, you know, fame chasing Adderall kids. I just don't get it, man. I I'm really worried about the movement. I think it's going to be way too fast. It's like MW2 to me was perfect. And I know that's a very controversial thing to say. There wasn't slide canceling and stuff like that. There was still advanced movement uh, a little bit, but uh, it was all like it, it advanced enough to say like, oh, well, this is Call of Duty 10 years later, but like it wasn't out of control. Modern Warfare 3 came out and they pushed the envelope a little bit more where you can just slide around, zip, zob, zoobity bop all day, all, all day long. And it, it's, it's, I, I don't understand where this mindset of like, oh, well, if you can't do that new movement, then you're just old, you're washed up, it's a skill issue. Like, when did the skill issue get pulled away from just like having a gunfight, being able to shoot a weapon, and the most you could do is crouch or maybe dolphin dive? I, where do we need all this advanced movement, and how does that now define what Call of Duty is? I don't get it. 
I'm really worried. Um, I, I think they're doubling down on the, the fast pace that Modern Warfare 3 introduced, and I'm not a big fan of it. Uh, so I'm really worried about how I'm going to feel about Black Ops 6. And it's a shame because a lot of the early on information that was coming out, I was very excited about. I was very optimistic about uh, the fact that play of the games were, were returning. I do want to go on record. I, I think like Search and Destroy, Free For All, um, maybe even Team Deathmatch. I see an argument for both sides on those. But Free For All, uh, Search and Destroy for sure should be the last kill of the game. That should be the final kill, should be last kill of the game. Because if you don't have that, then you eliminate that like a lot of these clips you're seeing in the video now are me playing free for all uh getting to 29 oh i've got a big enough lead i'm gonna throw some knives i'm gonna go for that final kill cam that's that's fun to me you eliminate that once you take that play of the game so hopefully that hopefully black ops 6 has that as final kill uh but when you're playing like domination with your friends and it's play of the game what's great is hitting some disgusting like five man spray or a sniper clip or whatever and going oh my god that's definitely getting play of the game and then you're like hyped for the rest of the match just hoping that that's still going to be the play and then your friends are like competing to get a better play so they get play of the game i don't know i just really like the way play of the game works and to be honest in the end in the grand scheme of things it's a much easier way for me to like bank a lot of uh a, a lot of final kills or a lot of kill cams whatever you want to call it and uh, I was excited to maybe, you know, bring back uh, shitty kill cams super hard for Black Ops 6, you know, if I was able to get play of the games. Because then I could go out and get kill cams by myself a little bit easier instead of having like a... You have to have like a full lobby of six a lot of times if you're going for final kills unless you play free for all. Uh, so I was excited about that, you know, um, theater mode is returning, that's awesome, classic prestige system is returning, we're not gonna have four games worth of weapons in one game anymore, hopefully they cool down on, like, the amount of attachments and stuff that are available a little bit, uh, you know, there's a lot of really neat, interesting ideas coming back with black ops 6 that i was excited for uh treyarch games traditionally changed things up a little bit more black ops 4 was one of my favorite call of duties i absolutely love that game i even liked the hero abilities and all that stuff but i just thought that that game played really well the prestige grind was perfect the weapon camo grind was perfect so i was really really looking forward to black ops 6 and to see what it had in store for us but at this point with all the leaks we have this is the earliest biggest leak that's ever been it's huge. Everything is already out there. I have no idea why COD Next is even happening. We already know everything for the most part. Uh, but I'm worried. I I'm really worried that uh, this game is going to be dead on arrival. Uh, for me, at least, as far as like how fast the movement's going to be and everything. Still going to play it. Still going to you know hop on the beta. Very excited to see how that all goes. Zombies just got revealed. I've never been a round-based zombies guy. But MWZ actually got me to get my toes wet in the zombie genre and i enjoyed what i what i experienced so I'm, I'm i'm excited to kind of dive into that round based experience and it looks like they did a really good job so i'm really excited for black ops 6 but i'm really worried about the about the pacing and the advanced movement i want to hear what you guys think down in the comments down below and uh, look for me going live with the beta here very soon i love you guys i'll see you on the next one bye bye